The Brexit story is like navigating through a maze with no way out. And while Britain's exit from the European Union stays complicated, one thing is certain. The people of Britain are sick of this drama. Britain's two main parties stand snubbed in the recently concluded European election. And that's the first solid indication of what's playing on the minds of the people since they voted to leave the EU in 2016. There's been so much um, delay and I think everybody's absolutely cheesed off with the whole thing now. I think the general public have all had enough of it. People are confused and they're getting really annoyed by it all because I think the MPs are just looking after themselves and not after the public, really. Voters have rejected the handling of Brexit so far and instead have shown support to parties that were unequivocally pro-Brexit or pro-European Union. In other words, they have voted for clarity not confusion, but that's a long way to go for Britain. As of now, the country is gearing up for a race to the Prime Minister's chair. Theresa May is on her way out, as we know. She announced on Friday that she was quitting over her failure to deliver Brexit. ...dated the terms of our exit and a new relationship with our closest neighbours that protects jobs, our security and our union. I have done everything I can to convince MPs to back that deal. Sadly... I have not been able to do so. But it is now clear to me that it is in the best interests of the country for a new Prime Minister to lead that effort. So I am today announcing that I will resign as leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party on Friday the 7th of June so that a successor can be chosen. What an end. She came to power as Prime Minister because of Brexit. She's leaving because of that. She was known as a tough taskmaster, as a Home Secretary. And Theresa May has had an embattled Prime Ministership from the word go. Quite a journey this has been. So who replaces her now? That question hangs. A crowded contest is in store. Eight candidates have so far thrown their hat in the ring with a common promise to succeed where Theresa May failed. Former Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson is emerging as a favourite. He was one of the most prominent figures of the Brexit campaign in 2016. He said that Britain should be prepared to exit the bloc without a deal if no acceptable agreement can be reached. Former Brexit Secretary Dominic Raab is emerging as another strong contender. Home Secretary Sajid Javid, the latest Conservative to jump in the race. Standing to be leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party and the next Prime Minister. My message is simple. It's time to rebuild trust to find unity and to create new opportunities for our country. As last night's results made all too clear, we must get on and deliver Brexit to ensure there's renewed trust in our democracy. I love my country and my pledge to the British people is to be a leader who is always straight, fighting for their interests. I enter politics to do my best for this country, the country which has done so much for me. As Prime Minister, I would strive to achieve that ambition every single day. So you see, politicians everywhere sound the same. Also in the race are Health Minister Matt Hancock, Britain's Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt, former House of Commons leader Andrea Leedsom. This contest officially begins in the week of June 10th. Conservative Party members will then choose the winner from the final two candidates. After quitting as leader of the ruling Conservative Party on the 7th of June, Theresa May will stay in office as a lame duck Prime Minister until her party chooses her successor, who will then become Britain's Prime Minister. But May's exit does not solve anything. It only adds to the chaos. And that is the problem for the UK. Her successor will still have the uphill task of negotiating the UK's exit from the EU. And the EU might not be keen on reopening the terms of the withdrawal agreement. The other big challenge for the successor would be getting the agreement approved by the parliament. Theresa May had failed three times to get a Brexit deal passed. Some analysts say that May's departure might make a no-deal Brexit more likely, in which case the UK's economy will take a severe hit. There is no clarity on whether the UK will eventually leave the EU at all. As of now, the exit date is set for the 31st of October with or without a withdrawal agreement and that is where the story stands.